you know, I realize it's not always about how you start, but it sure is about how you finish. Yes, much of this year may have been rocky, but the remaining part of this year should move you into a place of realignment. Today on In The Mix, let's have a courageous conversation that will empower you to finish strong. Yeah, I want to show you how to win the rest of this year. Oh, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good, good people. How you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. Well, I want to welcome you to another edition, another installment of In The Mix. I'm your host with the most, yours truly, Dr. Eddie. And I hope you're ready for an empowering and impactful and illuminating conversation. In order to do that, you know how we do it. Come on, family, hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Yeah, like this video, but also I need you to hit the hit the subscribe button as well. Come on, while you're liking, make sure you're subscribing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. While you're liking, make sure that you are subscribing to this video as well. Family, you know how we do it. We got to pay the light bill. Come on, I need you to drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Drop some light bulb emojis in the chat as a matter of fact. Yes. We want to keep the conversation 100 watts. You know, I'm going to bring it and keep it 100. We too lit to quit. Why? Because we are the light of the world. Let's have an illuminating conversation. Let's spotlight. Let's highlight this particular topic today entitled Finish Strong. Come on, family. Just type that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just type that in the chat. Finish Strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, may not have started strong, but you're going to finish strong. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about how to win the rest of this year. And hear me, I, I understand it. I know it. I get it. Sometimes we're, we're really trying to figure out how to merge our purpose and our productivity together. And for many of us, the year may have been rocky. You know, we may have had and hit some hurdles had some stumbling blocks and I realize those stumbling blocks can become stepping stones. God can really shift your test into a testimony, your misery into ministry, your mess into a message. He can shift and transform grief into grace to where you are able to bounce back from a setback. But here's what you have to do. You have to realign your mind. Yeah, come on family, just type realign your mind. That's what you got to do. You got you to realign your mind, family. Got to think more than before. Got to see more than before. Got to see yourself walking into the bigger, better, brighter of life. Got to see yourself going where you've never been and doing what you've never done. Doing what you've never done before. Going where you've never gone before. And so I, I understand it. That much of this year may have been challenging for you. But here's what you have to do. You have to internalize the fact that challenges create champions right as muhammad ali suggested and even mentioned the greatest boxer of all time in my mind said that the canvas is no place for a champion we've all been knocked down we got to get back up again we've all faced some hits and some hurdles right and it's not so hard you get hit it's out it's not so hard you it's not about how hard you, you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep on going. We've all faced those particular challenges. But I got to re realign my mind to see 
my life is I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. I'm learning more. I'm being empowered. I'm being impacted so that I can shift from wherever I have been and where my life has gone on this particular tra trajectory, this particular direction to my new destination. No matter the, f the challenges that you have faced, no matter how you feel being stuck like Chuck in a pickup truck, you can always take one more step. You're always one step closer to your next dimension. Hear me, family. You're just one thought away from transforming your life. You're just one action step away from taking your life to a new dimension. You can do it. Come on, you're going to live to see it happen. Come on, family, just type big. It's getting ready to be big. Your next move is going to be your best move. Yeah, this is not this is not checkers. This is chess. This is strategy. And I'm going to give you some strategy, some structures, some solutions, and some systems. Yeah, strategy, structures, solutions, and systems. So by the time you December rolls around, by the time that you're able to segue out of this year into a new year, you'll really have something to celebrate. Come on. There's a whole lot of celebration, not enough dedication. Celebration don't hit the right way if I don't have no dedication. If I don't have anything to show for it. Come on, get, get something out of it. Out of all your blood, out of out of all your sweat, out of after all, out of all your tears, after all the years of what it is that you've gone through, get something out of it. Come on, family, type nothing wasted. Type nothing wasted. Yeah, nothing wasted. Nothing's gonna be wasted in your life. Nothing's definitely gonna be wasted on this channel for change. This channel that creates change. Our channel that that breaks chains. That's right. Yeah, nothing's gonna be wasted, family. And so here's what I want to give you. Let's jump right on into it. I'm giving you some strategies to really maximize the moment so that you can finish strong. I'm, I want to share how to win the rest of your year. Number one, family, just type this in the chat. Type assess. Type assess. Listen, family, you got to start by assessing the last few months of what it is that you've gone through. You got to start by assessing this year. You got to do an inventory. You, you got to take your mind and take that and rewind it back. You got to look at where it is that began in January and where it is that you are now. Hmm. What went right? What went wrong? What can you improve upon? What were the challenges? Come on, this is not about judging. This is about inspecting. This is about doing some personal inventory. This is about, here it is, doing an internal audit in your life. And not just in your life, in every area of your life. Yeah. I know the auditor comes for the nonprofit. I know the auditor comes for the business. I know the auditor comes for the organization. I know the auditor often comes for whatever it is in your personal finances, this, that, and the other. But are you going to do your own internal audit? What am I talking about? You got to audit your relationships. You have to audit your mental health. You have to do an audit on your finances and your spiritual connection and your career. You have to do an audit on the aspects of what it is that you experience, your feelings and your emotions. You Got to audit your level of emotional intelligence. You Got to audit your relational intelligence and your spiritual intelligence. You have to look at all of the ancillary areas of your life. See, are you in proximity? See, are you actually improving the areas of what it is that are so unique and so idiosyncratic and so imperative in your life? Are you actually doing the work? And the work that you're doing, is it working? Hmm? You don't want to dwell on the past so much that you're not looking to the future, but you also do want to analyze where it is that you are in your present moment and see if the past does play a role in that. And then based upon the past playing a role in it, don't you think that present situation of what it is that you're dealing with can 
eventually affect your future? Affect where it is that you want to go? I got to do an internal audit. Come on, family, type internal audit. Internal audit. Here it is. An internal audit says this. I'm not looking, I'm not doing the inventory to be critical, but I'm doing it to be practical. This is where I'm evaluating. What does not get measured does not grow. You can't even chart it. What gets measured gets done. I have to evaluate where it is that I am. Where was I? Where am I now? And between where I was and where I am now, has there been any growth? Between the vision and the manifestation, where am I at in the middle of the situation? Have I grown at all? Have I developed at all? Have I expanded and stretched the elasticity of my thinking? And based upon me stretching the elasticity of my thinking, has it now inculcated? Has it now ingrained itself into how I'm living? Has, has my thinking affected my living? And here it is. I got to ask myself the question like Clark says, is my living in vain? <laughs> is my living in vain? Now, y'all don't want me to sing it. Right? And, and hopefully it's a resounding no, of course not. Come on. I got I to gotta make an assessment. I need to rate myself in every specific avenue and area. So that I move into a place of personal inventory. Come on, family. Type inventory. Type inventory. Type inventory. That's why I want you to join my amazing YouTube members area. Because I really shift you into a greater gear of how to do that personal inventory. I want you to go ahead and support a badge. I want you to become a partner with us. We're looking to grow. We're looking to expand. You can help us to do that. We want to broaden our broadcast. I know you can help us to do that. So the link is in the chat. The link's in the description of this video for how to become a, a member of In The Mix. I want you to become a member of In The Mix. And by doing that, all you have to do is just support a badge. Go ahead and get one even now. VIP, royalty, OQP. VIP, you're a very important person with a very important purpose. Yeah, your royalty demands loyalty, king and queen. And then also OQP. You up with OQP? Yeah, you know me. OQP, only quality people are those who I need in my life. Go ahead and support a badge. Your support of a badge now allows me to give you access to our members only area. Conversations, up close and personal. Communication, conversation, what it is that I'm sharing with you behind the scenes, things that I'm not going to share necessarily on my social media or even on the YouTube free area, only for our members. Membership has its privileges. And my giving my gift to you is to give you access to that members only area. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you so much for becoming a partner. Let's move on to number two. Talking about how to win the rest of this year. Finish strong so that you can have something to celebrate. So that life doesn't pop your balloons and you can, you know, Go from zero to 100 real quick and really enjoy your life simply because you've done the work. A lot of us are making a living, but are we actually making a life? And so I told you, number one, assess. Secondly, here's what I want you to type. Type accept. You got to accept yourself. You can't be anybody else except yourself. <laughs> That's right. After you assess, the next step is acceptance. What do I mean by that? This means by you're getting to the particular place in the maturational development in your life to where you are accepting of who, of who it is that you are. You accept who it is that you are. You are content in the fact that you are a work in progress. Come on, family. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the subscribe button as well. You, you have to be content in the fact that, listen, I am a work in progress. 
So because I'm a work in progress, here's what I need to do. I need to take the time to give myself small celebrations. Small celebration doesn't necessarily mean re retail therapy. Small celebrations could be the internal affirmation. It could be the external affirmation of saying, you know what, Dr. Eddie, I'm so excited. Dr. Eddie, you know what, I, I just want to... I just want to celebrate you, bro. Go on, looking into the mirror of your soul and say, you know what? I've made this step. I've made this leap. I've taken this walk. I've done this differently. Keep going. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Keep on moving. Go on. Don't you stop it. Don't you stop what you're doing. Yeah, you don't really want to stop. You shouldn't stop. The things that are bad, yes, you should. The things that are good, come on, we need to keep going in that direction. Right? So I need to move into a place of acceptance. I need to change the way that I look at things. And then when I change the way that I look at things, the things that I look at will change. So what do you need to do? You need to take a moment and make sure that you aren't comparing yourself to anybody else. You need to make sure that you're comparing yourself to who it is that you were yesterday. You need to make sure that you're comparing yourself to who it is that you are when you look in the mirror. Right? What am I doing to become the best version of who it is that I am? Here's another part of acceptance. Here's the flip side of acceptance. The other part of acceptance is acknowledging that you can't change the past. Oh, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Come on. Come on. You, you cannot change the past. Stop crying. Woe is me. Stop complaining. Stop comparing. Stop being so negligent. Stop being so stuck and stymied and stagnant and stifled. Simply because you're trying to go back and change the past. You can't redo it. The mistakes you made, you can't redo. The challenges that you had, you can't redo. Right? Stop trying to change the past and work on changing the future. Work on shifting in this present moment right now. Forgive yourself. Come on. You got to forgive yourself. Yes, you got to appropriate the forgiveness of God. You have to forgive those who are perpetrators. You got to forgive those who have hurt you. Then, then thirdly, you also have to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be a doormat. You have to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you've made. You have to forgive yourself for the things that you have done. You have to appropriate forgiveness within yourself internally or you'll continue to to repeat what you should repair. Oh, come on, family. Stop repeating it and start repairing it. And sometimes repairing it means you have to reparent yourself. It means you might have, have to put that photo of yourself, that little boy, that little girl right on the mirror. Right on your coffee table. And you got to affirm that little boy. You got to affirm that little girl that was not affirmed. That was overlooked. That was underestimated. That was undermined. Right? But you got to keep your vision on your mind. You got to accept what you can't change. And you have to change what you can't accept. Yes. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Come on. Accept what you can't change. And change what you can't accept. Talking to somebody the other day. They were saying to me, they were saying, you know what? A lot of times when we go to another level and this, that, the other, a lot of people think it was overnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They think what we did... And what, what happened for us was an overnight escalation. No, to what people think was overnight was really overdue. Yeah. Come on, family. Just type, it's my due season. Come on, family. Just type due season. It's your time and it's your turn to accept where it is that you are, to make the change for where it is that you want to go, and to forgive yourself for where it is that you've been. Are you hearing me? That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Got to develop who it is that you are and move your life to another dimension. 
Family, if you don't have my, my latest book, Strategies for Successful Schools, as well as Learners or Leaders, I would that you would go right now. Yeah, to the eaglesacademy.com forward slash books with an S. B O K S. It's going to be okay when you go there today. The eaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Go ahead and get, get copies. Bless somebody with those books. Whether it's teachers, whether it's students, whether it's trainers, whether it's coaches, everybody's going to be able to benefit from that. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Number three, family, just type aspire. Type aspire. That's what we got to do. We talked about assessing. We talked about accepting. Now we have to move into a place of aspiring higher. Got to aspire higher. That's what we got to do. We're called to do more. We're called to go to where it is that we need to be. We're called to finish out the rest of this year strong. Come on. For you to finish out the rest of this year strong, yes, you have to hold yourself accountable. You got to hold yourself accountable to aspiring higher. You got to hold yourself accountable to say, you know, this is what I want to this is what I want to do. This is where I want to grow in my health, in my nutrition, and I'm a, in my relationships, in my mental health, in my spiritual development. Spirit, speaking of spiritual development, family, listen, I want to foster your spiritual growth. I want you to join me. I'm grateful. To God, that yes, I'm the newly elected pastor of the remnant worshipers. Join us at church every Sunday and every Tuesday. Where? 20470 Hubble Street. I'm saving you a seat. I sure am. I want you to join us there every Sunday at 10 a.m., every Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Want to foster your growth. Yeah, through faith family and as we move forward i want you to be locked and in step with us we have to aspire all in those particular avenues and those particular levels why because once you've gone back and assessed the past once you have accepted your present circumstance the next step is to aspire higher to find what your aspiration is you got to ask yourself, listen, what is it that wakes me up in the morning without an alarm clock? Beyond just God, beyond my alarm clock, what is it that really wakes me up? What is it that wakes up my soul? got to ask yourself, what are, what are you seeking to attain? What are, you seek, what are you seeking to accomplish before the end of this year? Come on, you ought not let this year go by without not accomplishing anything. You ought to close the gap between what it is that you want to do and what it is that you will accomplish you ought to close the gap between this is what i want to do and i did that come on family type close the gap close the gap between this is what i want to do and i did that and generally between this is what i want to do and i did that we got a whole bunch of excuses in between there got a whole bunch of procrastinating in between there when we need to move from excuses to execution we need to move from crying and complaining and crying what was me and wearing the pity party hat and all those procrastination type of excuses because procrastination is nothing but the arrogant belief that God's going to give you another opportunity to do what he told you to do today. And today ought to be the first day of the rest of this year for you. Come on, family, type today's my day. Today is my day. Come what may, today is my day. Not feeling great. Come, today is my day. You got a headache. Today is my day. Rebuke it and keep it moving. Certain issues going on in your life. Today is my day. Every day may not be perfect, but every day does have purpose. Today is my day. Family, let me take a quick break. Yeah, I don't want you to touch that dial. Smile. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking news, got a very important announcement in the midst of this special message. Special message in the midst of this special message. I want, to st want you to stick and stay. Stick and stay. More is coming your way. After these messages, I will be right back. Our schools are underfunded, teachers are underpaid, and our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, 
called Strategies for Successful Schools. How to Develop a Diverse Classroom of Learners Who Read, Lead, and Succeed. This is a book that's available right now for our educational leaders. It's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers, and yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that, so many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go-to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31-day journal in there. It's got affirmations, really a lot of valuable life lessons, ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success, so much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also, you can get signed copies that are available at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else too. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't stop. Come on, family. I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. We're talking about how to win the rest of this year. How you can win the rest of your year. How to finish strong. Oh, yeah. Strong finish because I have a strong faith. I'm going to have a strong finish. Strong faith. Yeah, that's my guy. Jonathan Nelson. Amazing song. Amazing writer. Amazing artist. I'm talking about how to finish strong. And I already gave you three concepts. Strategy, structure, solutions, and systems. I told you number one, assess. Number two, accept. Number three, aspire. But I wasn't done with aspire. So let's go higher. Assessing and accepting is about focusing on where it is that you were. Remember, I told you, assess and accept. I'm focusing on where it is that I was. Aspiring is different, though, because now to aspire means that I'm focusing on where it is that I want to go. Yeah, but here's the thing. For where it is that I want to go, I have to grow into where it is that I want to be at. A lot of us, we just want to get there. But we don't want to put in any work to actually grow to be where it is that we desire to aspire to. I have to grow into where I desire to go. And hear me, your brain, your mindset is organized to be inspired by big thinking. Small people talk about people. Medium sized minded people talk about things but big thought oriented thought provoking people talk about ideas i don't have time to talk about people i don't have time to just talk about things i got to talk about ideas ideas that bring income ideas that bring growth ideas that illuminate my mindset idea idealized concepts that shift me from where it is that I am to where I'm going to be. It's got to shift me from where the thoughts that I've been thinking, how I've been living. I have to reach for things that don't just specifically touch my head, but also touch my heart. I have to reach for more. I have to see before and reach for more. Come on, family, just type reach. Come on, reach within the recesses of your soul. Reach. And preach to yourself. Preach yourself out of crying. Preach yourself out of whining. Preach yourself out of struggling. Speak life over your life. So that now your life won't just go this way, but your life will go at that way. It'll ascend. It'll transcend. And you'll be transformed as a result of it. Family, are you getting something from this? Told you number one. If you're really going to finish the rest of this year strong, got to assess. If you're really going to finish the rest of this year strong, you got to accept. If you're really, really, really going to finish the rest of this year strong, you have to aspire. Fourthly, if you're going to finish the rest of this year strong, you got to act. Come on, family, type that act. Yeah, act. Don't act a fool. Act with wisdom. 
Get your act right. Act is about taking action. Right? It is about applied knowledge. A lot of us, we have a lot of information, but we don't have any revelation that gives us applied knowledge to transform and shift and change our situation. Knowledge is not power. It only has the potential to empower you to do something when it is that you do something with it. Knowledge is not just power. It becomes power when I act upon what it is that I've gained. And hear me. Information changes situations, but not unless you have application. Information without application is absolutely and utterly useless. It really is. I have to take action. Here's what I understand. Some of us went to school, but we didn't get an education. Yeah, because school became weapons of mass instruction. And now you adopted a mindset of destruction. You didn't adopt a mindset of education. Because here's the thing. The aim of education is not just having knowledge for knowledge sake. It's action. The aim of education is not just memorization. It's innovation. It's not just recalling facts. It's about being able to move into a place of Socratic theory, Socratic method. It's about theorizing and thinking critically in a chaotic world. The aim of education is to take action. The late great Nelson Mandela said the most powerful weapon that you can ever use in the world is the power of education. Right? Weapon. The. Education is a weapon against ignorance. When I take action. And here's what we have to do. We have to think like a person of action. We have to act like a person of thought. Motivation will, get, will, will not get the job done. Determination will. Motivation will get you to the place to where you feel like doing it here and there and every whatever the case may be. You feel like it someday. You don't feel like it another day. You want to do it on a Wednesday. You don't want to do it on a Thursday and X, Y, Z, A, B, C, one, two, three. No, you have to have that determination to help you see clearly. You have to think like a person of action. You have to act like a person of thought. I have to see more and before. I have to think critically. In the chaotic chasm of this world, knowledge plus action equals power. Yeah. And here's the thing. For every hour that you spend learning something, for every hour that you spend listening to a podcast, yes, like this one, for every hour that you spend studying a personal development of sessions like right now, spend one hour applying what you just learned. And here's what I love about it. My Eagles community is a transformation station of application. If you're not a member of our Eagles community, the, the ultimate partnership is becoming a member so that you can soar farther, further, and faster than you've ever been in your life. I want you to go right now to the EaglesAcademy.com. The EaglesAcademy.com. The EaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button. I want you to fill out the form, be transformed. I want you to take advantage. Of our amazing deal, if only $24.99, where you can just join us, even now, at a very, very reasonable rate, to where you get access to our live sessions, to where you get access to our Eagle's Nest Reflections, where I'm giving you guided feedback, personalized, on homework that we do, on strategy, structure, solutions, and systems, to chart your growth, to see your progress, to where you get access to our private Facebook group where it's nothing more than just determination, insight, information, revelation, more than just motivation. It's where you're able to network and connect with so many other gifted and amazing eagles like yourself who are intent on taking action and aspiring higher. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com. I want to see your face in our digital space. 
I want you to experience transformation. Come on, you owe it to you to give yourself that specific place of transformation. You owe it to you to take yourself to a different place in a different space beyond where it is that you are. Come on, something is calling you. There's a deep hunger within yourself and within your soul, knowing that there is something greater for you. I want you to step into the greater and our Eagles community shows you and empowers you how to soar into your greater level. Go ahead and do it even now. Come on, family, drop some eagle emojis in the chat. Drop some eagle emojis in the chat. Become an Eagles Academy member as a matter of fact. Talking about how to finish this year strong. Told you, number one, you got to assess. Number two, you got to accept. Number three, you have to aspire. Number four, you have to act. Number five, X. Yeah, A-X-E. <laughs> yeah. You got to act some you got to act some things in your life, family. Come on, chop it up. Get rid of it. What I love about it, scripture says this, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, lay aside every weight in the sin that doth so easily beset you. So here's what I got to do. I got to cut it off. I got to get rid of it. I need to stop and think. I want to ask you, what weight, what burden, what problem, what hurt, what bruise, what pain, what debt, what habit, what sin, what addiction, what particular bad memory in the midst of everything that you've been through and what it is that you're dealing with even now, what are the things that are weighing on you? What weight is weighing on you? What are you doing? So I've talked about it before. How to be the biggest loser. How to give up what's stopping you from going up. How to get rid of what's crushing you. This is where, here it is, you have to put an axe to bad habits. Come on, who am I talking to? I, I don't know who I'm talking to. I hope it's you. I know it's you. You have to put an axe to bad habits. You got to cut them. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. Your future is calling you, but you can't answer to your future until you ax certain things in your present and in your past. Here's what we do. We oftentimes create a to-do list. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to create a not to do list. Come on, family, just type exit. Type exit, A X E. Yeah, I know how you got your to do list is on your phone. You got your to do list is in your planner. Yeah, but I want you to create a not to do list. Ask yourself, what are you going to stop doing? And in order to do that, here's what you got to do you got to look at your current habits, you got to look at your bad behaviors. Got to look at what is what has held you back. You got to look at what is holding you back. What are you holding on to that's even holding you back? Got to make a plan to stop those actions so that you can move forward with a diligent, dedicated action plan. Price is way too high. You got to cut it. Your price is way too high. Why? Because you've been bought with a price. God brought you, God bought you with a price. He brought you to another dimension, to another level. So you got to move your life to that specific aspect in that particular avenue. By getting rid of what's stopping you and stymieing, stymieing you and stifling your growth. But here's what you got to do. You got to get to a particular place in your life to say, listen, how bad do I want it? How bad do I want to lead? How bad do I want to succeed? Do I want to continue to suffer in silence? Do I want to continue to stay where it is that I am? Or do I understand that God is calling me to a greater level? I know my purpose is calling me to a greater dimension. And I got to go there. In order for me to go there, I got to give up what's stopping me from getting there. Come on, family. We're having a courageous conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker on our channel for change. Our channel that creates change. Our channel that breaks chains. And that's what's happening. To break chains, you got to ask certain things. Stop asking for what you're not axing. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of us pronounce "ask," "ax." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I asked you a question. No, no, no. "Ax," "a x e." Different between asking and axing, and I shouldn't be asking for what I haven't begun to ax. Got to get rid of it. Why should I expect God to bless me with more if I won't get rid of what makes me feel less? Than the best and the blessed. Number six, nothing less. Type add, 
type ad. Gonna finish strong, family. You gotta assess, you gotta accept, you gotta aspire, you have to act, you have to ax, and you have to add. Yeah, gotta do it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But here's what we do. We seek God second, third, fourth, fifth, and we want him to give us first-rate resources and blessings. Don't happen like that. Mm-mm. There's some things that I need to subtract in my life. There it is, Acts again. Some things that I need to subtract so that the right things can be added to my life. Can't expect a purpose partner if you have not first partnered with your purpose. Can't expect God to bless mess. Can't expect your life to go to another level if all you do is engage in what causes you to crumble. And when we're talking about changing the bad habits of what it is that are stifling us from finishing strong, we have to realize this, that you just don't stop doing something. You have to replace the bad habit with a better one. You have to take a different course of action because to a certain degree, here it is. If we don't do these things that I'm talking about, if we don't really engage in the fierce urgency of now, we won't finish strong. We'll finish weak. Mm hmm. And for the 52 weeks in the year, it'll continue to show that you're weak every week. Because you didn't do what it took to feel the pain. Yeah, it's going to be pain either way. Pain of discipline, the pain of consequence. Pain of not going anywhere or pain of going somewhere. The pain of development. Stopping one habit, starting another. Means that here's what I have to do. I have to engage in something that's going to replace the bad habit with a good one. If you simply just stop doing something. You oftentimes trying to go cold turkey. You have a void where the habit was. I want you to think about what it is that you are going to replace with that bad habit, what are you going to place? What good habit are you going to replace with that bad habit? What are you going to subtract in order to add? Okay, may go something like this. Maybe instead of binge watching Netflix, you're going to spend some time reading. Come on, you got to make it very, very specific. You have to write the vision. You have to make it plain. So that when you make it P-L-A-I-N, it becomes a P-L-A-N-E. Remember, I got to stop one, but I have to start one. And I need to choose which one is going to override the bad one that I'm stopping so that I can start anew and I can start afresh so that I can add. What do you want God to add to your life? Maybe it's greater health. Maybe it's greater wealth. Maybe it's emotional intelligence. Maybe it's a purpose partner. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's the right relationship. Maybe it's a marriage. Maybe it's financial stability. Maybe it's blessing your business. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the healing of your body. I don't know what it is. But what are you also going to engage in so that you also collaborate, co-partner, and connect with God? It can't be just all him and none of you. Hmm? Faith without works won't work. You got to roll up your sleeves. You got to engage in the fierce urgency of now. You have to do something as well. God gave you power. Stop acting as if you're powerless, finishing weak when you ought to be finishing strong. Come on. You ought to get to the particular place as you segue throughout the rest of this year to say, you know what? Every single week, I'm going to finish strong. Yeah, and I'm going to start strong, too. I'm going to maintain that momentum in the middle of the week. This week will not be a weak week. Oh, come on. Come on. Who am I talking to? I know it's you. I hope it's you. I know it's you.
Come on, you ought to get to that particular place where you say, listen, this week I'm not going to finish weak. I'm going to finish strong. Strong finish because I got a strong faith. I will not have a weak week this week. And sometimes, here it is, we learn the power of strength in the midst of struggle, knee deep in the storm. I know the last months may have been challenging, but I'm speaking to the champion that's on the inside of you. Come on, it's time for you to stay strong. God didn't bring you this far to only bring you this far. Through the tragedy, their strategy. Through the loss of a loved one, God is embracing you. God is equipping you. God is empowering you. God is lifting you up through the financial instability. God is molding you, shifting you, making you, shaping you, and shaking you, and blessing you. Come on, finish on, finish and focus on what you can control. Control the controllables. God, understand there's always sunshine behind the clouds. Not every storm comes to disrupt your life. Some storms come to clear your path. Are you hearing me? Just because you don't see the results instantaneously, just because you don't see the results today, doesn't mean that it won't affect it tomorrow. Some things take time. That's why you got to continue to, to assess. That's why you have to continue to reassess. That's why you have to put your mind, you have to realign your mind. You got to look back. You got to see how far you've come. You got to chart your progress. You got to thank God for your growth. Sometimes big things have small beginnings, but here's the thing. You can't despise the day of small beginnings. There's a version of yourself that you haven't met yet through the storm. There's a version of yourself that you haven't met yet through the rain, through the trial and through the pain. Here's what you got to do. You got to keep looking up. You got to keep showing up. You got to keep learning. You got to keep working. Because every moment in life has two paths. What do I mean by that? You can step forward into growth and possibility. Or here's what you can do. You can step back in regret and stinking thinking that keeps you soaking and sinking in limited beliefs, in emotional snipers. Come on, in emotional squatters. In all the tempestuous trials and situations and storms of what it is that you've gone through, sometimes the smallest step in the right direction yields big results and causes you to make the biggest leap that you've ever made in your life. Come on, family, type leap. Type leap. Type leap. You're getting ready to have a Bobby Brown moment. Every little step I take, you will be there. Why? Because God is always there. Right by your side. He's loving you. He's leading you. He's lifting you. He's molding you. He's making you. He's shaping you. Little by little, every little step you take, little by little, a little becomes a lot. And hear me, family, you're just one step closer each and every single day. Come on, family, type one step. One step. One idea. One impact. One influence. Like I learned in my chemistry class, water steams at 211 degrees, but it boils at 212 degrees. It's one degree difference between steam and boil. Some of us is just one book away. Some of us are just one thought away. Some of us are just one prayer away. Some of us are just one prayer partner away. Some of us are just one church away. I hope you come and visit me on Sunday and Tuesday, Sunday at 10 a.m., Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m., the Remnant Worshippers, 20470 Hubble Street. I'm saving you a seat in the city of Detroit. Come by. Tell me God bless you and say what up, though, too. Come on, some of us are just one opportunity away from shifting our life today. Come on, it's now. It's your time. Come on, family, type, type, finish strong. Finish strong. Despite what went wrong, finish strong. Despite the negative thoughts, finish strong. Despite what they said about you, finish strong. Despite what they did to you, finish strong. You're going to win the rest of this year. And winning the rest of this year starts with winning today. Come on, family, type win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. You may be losing, but I got the mindset to say all I do is win. Why? Because I'm an eagle. 
soaring on wings as an eagle. Mounting up on wings as an eagle. And you can't spell wings without wind. I know you're going through the winds of life. I know the winds have been howling. I know the winds have been chirping. I know the winds have been pushing you. I know it's been turbulent. But you know that you're off the ground. You know that you're going to another level when you're feeling turbulence. Yeah. God is shifting that turbulence into greater opulence. It's happening for you. You're going to another dimension too. Leap into it. Soar into it. Expect it. You're going to win it. You're going to have it. You're going to finish strong as a result of it. Family, I want you to sow into this word that you've heard. Come on. We, this, is, this has been an impactful word that you have heard, shifting you into a greater direction to finish strong and win the rest of this year. Come on. There's still enough time left in this year for it to be the best year of your life. Oh, yeah. God don't need a whole bunch of time, but he does need some faith. He doesn't need a whole bunch of time. He doesn't even, even he doesn't even need a whole bunch of faith. All you need to do is just have faith the size of a mustard seed. And that's going to meet the need. That's right. Do you believe? Come on, family. Type I believe. I believe. Yeah. It's going to be some cheer for the rest of your year. Sure is. I want you to sow into the word that you heard. We've been having a courageous conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. Cash app, dollar sign, access identity. PayPal, Zelle, Eddie Connor, JR, Gmail. Yes, you can give via super chat, super sticker, but you can also give electronically. Link is in the chat. Link is in the description of this video for how to give and for where to give. I want to join my faith with yours that God does exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think and that you finish strong greater than you think. It's going to happen for you. It's going to happen for your family too. It's going to be a blessed by association based upon who's connected to you. Yeah. God's doing it for you. I'm excited for you. I see you in the future and you sure do look a lot better than you do right now. And you do look good right now. But imagine how much better you're going to be. Imagine how much better you're going to think. I want you to sow that seed into this good ground. I want you to sow this seed into the word that you've heard. Come on, there's seed time and harvest. You don't get what you don't plant in. And the day that you plant the seed is not always the same day that you eat the fruit. But here's what's happening. A root is growing. 30, 60, 100 fold in good ground. Not on stony ground, not on rocky ground, but in fertile soil. I want you to plant right into the fertile soil of this word, but also the fertile soil of the soul. Of your mind, will, and your emotions of what God has blessed you with to aspire higher. Yeah, thank you so much for your seeds that you've sown. Thank you so much for the cash app, dial sign, access, identity, PayPal, Zell, Eddie Connor, JR, Gmail. Thank you so much for the super chat and the super sticker. I know God is blessing you. And as you're sowing your seed, name your seed because I know it's getting ready to happen for you and it's going to be big. Family, if you're not a member of our Eagles community, come on. What are you doing? We go further and farther than we go right here. You owe it to you to experience the transformation. You owe it to you to get amazing strategies so that you can perfect your life and so that you can see the growth that takes place in your relationships. Don't you want to see the growth that takes place in your family and in your home and in your ideas and in your business and in your mindset and in relationship to your purpose? And your emotional intelligence and your spiritual intelligence. Don't you want to see the growth that takes place? Then you need to put yourself into a specific sphere of influence. You need to put yourself into a community that causes you to grow. Come on, you ought to invest in yourself. And you can do that for just as low as $24.99. Yeah. The immense value that you're going to get for such a reasonable price. You owe it to you. To make that investment in yourself. Join us right now. Go to the EaglesAcademy.com. Yes. I hear you. I see you. I know you. Join me there too. Join us there too. Go right now to the EaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, and be transformed. Even now. Can't wait to see your face in our digital space. Family, 
If you're not a member of our Eagles community, of course, I want you to join there. But also, if you're not a member of our In The Mix community, come on. How are you going to watch In The Mix but not become a member of In The Mix? Let's do something about that. Let's change that. Go ahead and get a badge right now. Links in the chat. Links in the description of this video for how and where to get a badge. VIP royalty OQP and my given gift to you is now giving you access to our In The Mix members only area. Behind the scenes content footage conversations that i'm having that you need access to to strengthen your life go ahead become a member even now family did this word empower you to be able to finish strong do you feel like you can finish strong for the rest of this year you, you, it's, it's church mama said you're gonna run on and see what the end is gonna be yeah it's gonna happen to you and me uniquely it sure is hit the thumbs up button on this video family hit the thumbs up button Hit the subscribe button as well. Family, I'm so glad that you stuck and stayed with us. I do know this, that In The Mix is out of time. But I also want you to know, here it is, you know I'm not out of truth. So I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I want to thank you for rolling with me. Yeah, because that's just how we roll on our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. And we do this. We're here Monday through Friday for In The Mix. Yeah, Monday through Friday, each and every single day. Yeah, I want you to join us. It's absolutely amazing. And I know it's going to be, it's going to continue to empower you each and every single weekday, Monday through Friday for In The Mix. While you're here on the YouTube side, of course, I do want you to hit the subscribe button. I do want you to hit the thumbs up button. I do as well. I want to give a sincere salute to all of our viewers on our sister satellite stations on social media. And I just got a question for you. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? I need you to step this way. Step that way. Come on. Step this way. Step that way. Which way am I talking about? By friend of me and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop. Connect with me right now at Eddie Connor Jr. Come on, family. Put some respect on my name. E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R. JR, y'all keep showing love. I'm going to keep showing up. If I can help you, if I can serve you in any way, don't hesitate. Reach out to me. If you're looking for a dynamic speaker, now why would you look any further? Come on now. You know I'm the man for the job. So I want you to invite me to speak at your church, your conference, your community center, your school, your graduation, your session, your event. Let's make some progression. All you have to do is email me to invite me, info at eddieconnor.com. Come on, info at eddieconnor.com. And it would be an honor, a tremendous honor for me to empower you. Sure, truly, Dr. Eddie, your main man, 100 grand, your brother. And I mean that from another mother. Family, it's been fun, but you know a brother got to run. So I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy. Yes, it has been beyond measure, but I want you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you to remember to keep the faith. And believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter, peace, and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher. Family, there is power in partnership, and we are better together. Which is why I am on a mandated mission to activate 30, yes, 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits. I'm ready. To develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness. Now, are you ready? Well, get activated by joining the Eagles Academy, where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself. And we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced Eagles Nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you, to renew your mindset, to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, Today, I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit TheEaglesAcademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99, you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to TheEaglesAcademy.com and seize this moment. Thank <laughs> you.